this is Chief Allen. Hey, Chief. How are you? All right. Hey, uh, my name is CJ. I'm having a problem with your... Your, your name is what again? CJ. CJ, okay. Yeah, or Grisham is my last name. Um, I filed a complaint about a month ago with, uh, with IA, and um, I'm having several... Concerning what, exactly? The treatment of a citizen who was open carrying... It was a. Uh, uh, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. You're complaining for someone else. I'm filing a complaint about the treatment. I'm, I'm with Open Carry Texas. We're a statewide nonprofit, and okay. and so you, we don't take complaints from other citizens on an event where we're making an arrest. There was no arrest. That's the complaint that I have. Okay. So you uh, are concerned about what here exactly? Well, a citizen who was open carrying was detained for over half an hour um, mm -hmm. and was re they refused to let him go. Then one of the officers went and forced Walmart to issue a trespass warning. Not forced. They convinced them uh, and encouraged them to issue a trespass warrant against this guy because they didn't like the fact that uh, – so when they – When you say they – the, the officers. The officers, okay. yes. Um I'm trying to see if I've got the names of the guys off off top of my head here, um, but what happened was they uh, they went and stopped him, and he was open carrying. Okay, now, let me ask you some questions. Now, sure. Where are you when you were seeing all this? He sent the the individual sent me his video. Okay. All so, right, go ahead. So yeah, so I I saw the video exchange. Um. And so my my complaint is that a, the officers refused to let this guy go in spite of letting him, in spite of telling him he was breaking no laws, which a detention requires reasonable suspicion or probable cause. And then the fact that they um, tried to get the, well, did get the Walmart manager to issue a trespass warrant, and then they basically gave him a trespass warrant. Um, now, I already spoke with Walmart, and they've rescinded that and found out that their manager was... Uh, basically uh, pressured to issue that trespass warrant based off what the cops were saying. And how did the police come to be at Walmart? Uh, an employee who was leaving called and said that there was a guy who was carrying, had a, had a holstered handgun. And so they responded okay. to that call. Okay. And your concern is what here now? Well, my, my concern is that El Paso PD officers are um, what, I, what I would say amounts to harassment because, I mean, 30, well, 30 minutes all, is a I long time. I disagree with you on that because uh, if this person had his, uh, the proper credentials, that, he, that topic probably wouldn't have taken that long. If well, showed up to the scene from what you're telling me, what I just heard, based on someone else calling the police. It wasn't just uh, the police officers saw someone with a gun and did and decided on their own to stop them. It was a request from a citizen of the community, and this citizen happened to be a co uh, employee, evidently. And so, with that being said, the police are obligated to stop and check on this, the validity of whether or not that person has a concealed uh, permit, which allows him to open care. Well, that's well. One, that's not true. But two, if I call the office, what, what, what's not if true? I if I call the police and I say there's a guy driving down the street, are you guys going to stop that car and check his driver's license all depends on what you describe as the behavior. I, well the behavior was that a guy was carrying a holstered handgun okay and their concern became our concern that's uh, what i'm getting okay at. so if i'm so concerned word, that there's a car on the on the street driving down the we've road done that many times we've done that many times what you're describing police stop people all the time if they come upon the vehicle being described in the situation you're trying to indicate as an example no. then the police will drive up if they're able to and monitor that behavior. And if they see the same behavior that was described, they will make a stop. But the behavior described is that a person's driving. Uh, say that again? I said the behavior that I just gave you in my example is that a person is driving. Okay. So if yeah, I call and say there's a person hold driving hold down, 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 down the road. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, well, well sir, you keep cutting me off. Uh, yes, I am. Okay, then, then don't tell me to hold on when I'm trying to explain myself. Your vagueness on 
on this. No, I was not vague. Stop someone. There will be follow-up questions coming from communications in this case. What type of behavior are you seeing? Just because you called in, yes, on the statement you just made, no, we would not stop anyone. Okay, well, the statement was that there's a guy with a holstered handgun. That was the complaint. I heard it. I have the 911 call. Okay, so a holstered handgun is a concern to someone, we would stop. And if that person say, do you have your credentials with you, sir? Yes or no? That's where the, the, the stop would be valid based on someone else's concern. If they produce those credentials, then it will most likely be released. Oh, okay. So you're saying that when there's a call of a perfectly legal activity... We don't know that until we check. So, okay, so if I call and say someone's driving down the road, you don't know if they have a license and they're driving legally? Do you stop them and, and check them? No, I'm not vague. That is the situation. The guy is... No, no, no. The, the guy is driving on the correct side of the road. The guy is not speeding. Okay. Okay, then let me let me explain this then. Uh, no, chief, chief. Chief, I want to read two things to you. Okay. All right. No, I'm going to quote the law to you. I'm going to quote the law to you. Apparently I am because you're not following it right now. Section 614.022 gives me a right to file a complaint. It says the freaking law, government code 614.022. And then uh-huh. and the complaint from whom? It doesn't say. Okay, exactly. And so the Texas Constitution is not complaining. Wait, so you're adding stuff to the law. No. Okay, and the first, here's I'm the second thing. From the Here Here's the second part. Here's the second part. The Texas Constitution says that I have a right to, quote, apply to those invested with the powers of government for redress of grievances or other purposes. I am complaining and seeking redress, as is my right, to your department. Okay, well, we're not taking that complaint. Okay, so that is under 3903 official oppression now. Now you are committing a criminal act. Yes, because you are, quote, intentionally denying or impeding the exercise or the enjoyment of any right, privilege, or power. To apply that, you take it to the authorizing authority, namely a Texas Department of Public Safety. No, no, I'll take it to a grand jury. I can see why your department is so out of control. It is led by incompetence. You don't care about the law except as it applies to everyone else but you. Do what you need to think I will be at your doorstep, open carrying. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Yes, I will be at your department's doorstep, and I will be open carrying, and I will bring all kinds of people with me, and you guys won't be able to do anything about it. Well, no one's checking my credentials either. Uh, Well, if that doesn't rise to a level of concern for someone, then you're absolutely right. I don't care about someone's concern. If I'm concerned about a guy walking down the road in a tank top, are you going to stop him? Since when does my rights... Mr. Mr. Grisham... You go ahead and do what you have to do. Well, you guys keep violating the law and not caring, violating people's rights, and you just don't care about the law. Oh, really? I've had several. We've had several. Well, this is the first I'm hearing of it. Well, then apparently your your troops and the people that we complain to aren't going up the chain of command, and this is the first time I felt like I've had to, I had to. Uh-huh. Well, uh, evidently you need to do what you need to do. Okay. Well, you guys need to do what you're supposed to do. You need to do what you need to do. You go ahead and do it, Mr. Grisham. All right. Well, what? All right. Yeah, whatever.